I'm your instructor, Dr. Benjamin Stevens. I've been a chiropractor for 10 years and a personal trainer for 20 years. My job is to help people from all walks of life and specifically athletes get help with their aches and pains while increasing their fitness. And significantly more than half of cyclists are gonna have problems that occur below their kneecap, right at the bottom of their kneecap, on top of their kneecap, or above their kneecap. So what we're gonna do is focus on a lot of things that we can do, not only to make those feel a little bit better, but hopefully prevent them from coming up in the future. So the very first thing that I want you to do is gonna be potentially the weirdest thing that I'm gonna ask you to do, and that is to jiggle your kneecap. So over time, if you get pain repeatedly around your kneecap, there's a little bit of inflammation that can build up around it because of the different things that you've done to it. And so it tends to become stiff. Your kneecap is a bone, it's not gonna get any stiffer or any looser, but a lot of the things that it floats around in, we can actually become, uh, we can loosen them off quite a bit. So all you've gotta do, and you can do this anytime throughout the day, but specifically if your knee gets sore, is scoot towards the front of a chair, have your leg as relaxed as possible, so your quads need to make sure that they are as relaxed as can be, and you can find your kneecap by just getting a thumb on the inside, pointer finger on the outside, or the other way around if you want, and all you're gonna do is you are going to jiggle your kneecap exactly as it sounds. So you can take it and you can push it inside, you can push it outside, and this is not a huge amount of force. It's just meant to loosen it off and make sure it's not quite as suctioned and tacked down to your femur in the back. So you can do it side to side, and you can do it top to bottom, and you can even just kind of explore around. So your kneecap should be able to move around a little bit in every single direction. For most people, it's gonna be a little harder going out than it is going in, and a little harder going down than it is going up. That's normal. But what we want is for you to relax everything, just get it moving in every direction. It's not gonna go anywhere if you're not relaxed, so it's easiest if you just sit towards the front of your chair. So for most people, this is actually gonna change a little bit about how their quadriceps operate. It actually changes a little bit about the timing of your quads, but more than anything, it's just gonna give you a little bit of symptomatic relief. And over time, if you do it a few times a day, it should help to just make sure that your kneecap is a little bit looser and doesn't drive down into your knee quite as much when you're cycling. So I'd recommend doing it for 30 seconds to a minute, as many times as you want throughout the day. And even if your other knee doesn't bother you, make sure you do it on both knees. We want nice, supple, floaty kneecaps on both sides.